Here's how we can make your online event look really professional, really special. Start with a slide or a countdown timer and bring on the uh, event host. Uh, welcome to the conference, award show, company day, you know, whatever it is we're doing here. Um, let's see the intro video. We could play a video into the stream, uh, full screen, it's looking good. Uh, back to the host. You might notice that there's a delay here. That's because it's coming over Zoom. And although we're using Zoom as like the back end of the production, uh, nobody on the stream watching on YouTube or Facebook or Vimeo or whatever, or if we're playing it back into a Zoom call um, or Teams, whatever, they don't want to see any of this Zoom. They don't want to see any of this Zoom cruft and faff which is, is around here. And uh, when we bring on the next speakers, you can see that none of that is visible. So we've got um, speaker two here, or three, um, that's there and there on those. And then this is the panel discussion. So we can have up to six people um, on screen at once. Probably too many for a panel, but great for like an award show. We can get the nominees up here and the winner is um, this person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that kind of thing. I've shown you we can play in videos, um, but we can play in any kind of media. I think we've got some slides here, so we're just gonna go through that slide deck. Um, and we can do a web browser, which means that anything online on a web browser, we can now bring into the stream um, in full quality. You know, other videos, quizzes, polls, you know, whatever you want, really. Um, and if somebody wants to talk about this, we can actually go back and bring on the presenter and they can talk, oh no, that way, they can talk about um, what's on screen and we can actually bring in the other, the other speakers onto the, um, um, onto the thing there as well, onto the screen there as well, and they can comment on what's on screen. Um, so, again, we're using Zoom, but we're not seeing any of this. Um, if we go here, we can actually grab these um, uh, things, move them around. Um, we can bring people into the breakout room, kick them out of the breakout room, get everything set up. And what's happening on here, nobody, nobody sees that. Nobody at home sees that at all. Um, we can even do a screen share, which is one of the worst parts of a Zoom call because it loads up, it's not in the right place, the person's not on the right page, all that kind of thing. Whereas here, um, you might see in a slight little jump there, but all of this happens in the background and when everybody's ready and everything's ready to go, that's when we cut to the, to the screen share and we can, um, oh, that way again, and the person can talk uh, over what their slides are and um, you know share their screen, uh, whatever they're doing there remotely. Um, so we'll come back and we'll end that share. Again, you see a slight little jump on the stream there, but nobody at home sees any of that. Um, so this is a breakout room, which means I can talk to the people in the breakout room, um, tell them how much time they've got next, left, uh, say thank you, ask them to adjust the camera, that kind of thing. And they can also see uh, what's going out live uh, without having to have YouTube propped open behind, beside them. Um, so there's a slight delay on that, but it really helps the people in the breakout room know what's on screen. They can know if they're on screen, they can see the other media and things like that. So that's really helpful. So that's breakout rooms. That's um, screen sharing. Uh, this is all the media. Um, and yeah, I think that's about, I think that's about it. So the host says, thank you very much for watching. And thanks for all your feedback. It was great to see all your tweets and your comments and things. Um, and we'll see you next time. Holding slide. Something like that. Cool. See ya. Bye.